Hey there guys, it's John here. Hope you guys are having a good day today and welcome to what I hope to be a uh, recurring thing that's going to be happening here on the channel and that is just me going over some of the uh, weekly cards that have been coming out um, for the uh, for the weekly Vanguard streams. So I know we put out a poll a couple weeks ago asking if you guys wanted us to do some sort of like news content style video and a majority of you surprisingly said yes. So thank you guys for uh, helping out on the community tab. Um, guys, if you ha don't know, sometimes we do post in the community tab what we do every now and then. So uh, if you want to stay up to date on some of the stuff that's happening with us, uh, be sure to check out our uh, community tab. But with that being said, guys, so yeah, I'm going to try and bring you guys a little bit of like a news update every now and then every Tuesday and uh, give you guys my sort of perspectives on some of the latest cards that are coming out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Overall, it looked like the stream was going to be relatively slow. Uh, there were a couple cards that were announced in terms of promos in the beginning, but then Bushiroad decided to drop the big bomb on us with the uh, the big boy himself, Varina Valiente. We'll get to him in a minute, but uh, let's go over the first uh, few promo cards that we got uh, revealed. So the first one over here is Stealth Rogue of Iron Blade Oshikuni. So his effect reads, when it attacks, if your opponent has two or less rear guards, this unit gets plus 5,000 until end of battle. So solid 15k beater, if, depending if you uh, properly board wipe your opponent. Um, I don't personally see this being a good addition to the Overdress archetype for Dragon Empire, but for the Desert Gunner archetype, it's actually pretty solid in the sense that it's a it's a good beater, helps get uh, solid numbers onto the board, being 15, and then within a boost, it'll be 23, so it hits magic numbers. But there's just seems to me a little bit of a setup for it. So it's not an amazing promo, but it's some it's a solid promo and something to consider if you want to be a little more flexible in your grade two slots. And then moving on from that, guys, we're going to go over to the uh, better promo, I would actually say, out of the two that were revealed. And that is Phantasmagoria Magician Curtis. So this to me is a super duper good card for Dark States if we're specifically talking about the Master of Gravity Barrel Magnus, a.k.a. Um, I'm not common Rider build Rabbit Tank Boy. Anyway, his effect reads, when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, if your Vanguard is Master of Gravity, Barrel Magnus, you may Soul Charge too, which is super good. On place, Soul Charging effects are amazing. Helps build up Soul for Barrel Magnus to be able to do his skill. So in my eyes, this is a very solid card. And then his other ability is kind of meh which is the, if you have 10 or more cards in your soul, you counter blast two and your entire front board gets plus 5,000 power. Now the power edition is nice, but for counter blast two, that in my personal opinion, it's a little expensive. Uh, normally when you want to think about counter blasts, you want to think about conserving them for a lot, in my opinion, better effects uh, than just say a plus 5K to um, a unit here and a plus 5K to a unit there. And then keep in mind that if you're playing Barrow Magnus, they're not going to be staying on the board permanently they're going to be shoved into the soul so yeah i mean it's solid for a certain extent i love it for its first effect and i'm not a fan of its second effect but overall if we're playing it for just its first effect it's an amazing card for an addition to barrel magnus to be able to ramp up to the 15th soul and then push out for the skill all right and then moving right along from that we're going to start getting into the goodies of dragon empire so this card was of course revealed to us earlier last week However, they decided to show us it in the uh, Bushi Road stream this week, but for good reason. It is a very, very good card for the uh, uh, Dragon Empire Overdress archetype. And if you haven't guessed, yes, it is Varina Arcs, uh, aka this is not Latios and or Latias. Um, sorry, it's just when I look at this card, I immediately think of uh, either Latios or Latias. And I'm sorry now if you can't unsee it yourself, but that's just how it is for me. Anyway, the effect is... Uh, it needs to be overdressed on top of Trickstar, uh, which is normal for the standard overdress archetype at this point. And then its other effect is super good, guys. When it's placed on Rearguard Circle, if it's in the overdress state, you may counter blast one, draw two cards, and plus 5,000 power. So now Dragon Empire has their own form of Pot of Greed. You guys thought that Keter Sanctuary had uh, just a Pot of Greed, but no, now Dragon Empire also has a Pot of Greed in the form of Varina Arcs, and I love it. Super, super good. Um, of course, not only that, but when we're thinking of this card specifically, right, when I um, initially look at this, obviously there is a lot of uh, discarding effects that are going to be happening, and there are a lot of um, setup that you're going to be needing for the overdress deck. Um, and because you have to think about it like this, guys, too. If you are overdressing and then overdressing and then overdressing and you're continuing to make this uh, overdress sort of chain, you're going to be using a lot of cards in your hand. And you want to be able to supply as much card draw as you can 
so you don't, you know, lose shield value, which is very, very key, especially in Overdress. Shield value is super good. Defensive plays, super nice. Um, and this card is going to help with that. But the plus 5k is also nice. Put that on top of um, Nirvana with the ability of the plus 10k. Plus a Persona Ride, it's a solid beater in its own right. Uh, overall, very solid card. Very excited for it. And it's only a double rare, guys. Only a double rare. Very nice addition. And then, of course, they just dropped the ball on us. Just from out of nowhere, they decided to uh, announce this card. Um, I honestly thought they were going to announce it either next week or, or further down the line since uh, for the JP set, uh, I believe the Overdress Genesis of the Five Grace that's coming out in a few weeks. But they were like, nah, guys, here you go. Uh, and that is, of course, Varina Valiente himself. Guys, I have been waiting for this card to come out ever since they announced it. He looked so cool and I cannot wait to play with him. Uh, let's go over his effect, guys. So, of course, he does have the Overdress ability. However... He is a grade three with the overdress ability that is a little different. It is, you of course overdress this onto Trickstar or a grade three or less unit in the overdress state. Meaning if you were on a previous version of Varina, either the grade two from the trial deck or the grade two that we were just talking about, you can of course go and put this on top of them and once again, overdress. So say for example, you started out with a Trickstar, then you go ahead and overdress that Trickstar on top of a Varina grade two. And then after that, you decide to overdress on top of that Varina Grade 2 onto this Varina Valiente. And of course, um, if you really wanted to, you can then take that Varina Valiente and then overdress it with another Varina Valiente, making for even more powerful effects, as you will see with his second ability or first ability, depending how you look at it. And that is Continuous Rearguard Circle. This unit gets plus 5,000 power for each of your unit's original dress. So, um... If you are confused about what original dress is, how I interpret it, right, is that basically just think of it as a um, soul underneath your rear guard circle. So basically anything underneath uh, Varina, for each card underneath him, you'll get plus 5,000 power, which is super good. It makes him a very solid beater. Of course, you're going to be wanting to apply multiple amounts of pressure. So maybe you swinging in with Nirvana first, uh, using the counterblast ability to pump this even further. Maybe you persona ride this turn. It just becomes a super, super big beat stick. But then, of course, there is his third ability, which is auto rearguard circle. When the attack of this unit in the overdress state hits, counterblast one and discard a card from your hand and stand this unit. So guys, it is a restanding rearguard for Dragon Empire. Super, super excited. I did previously predict that, you know, there was going to be some form of restanding. And I did think that either uh, previously, right, I was thinking that Valiente was either going to restand himself or restand Nirvana. Uh, just based on how uh, everything was playing out, uh, there wasn't as much rearguard pressure as I would have liked. But now with Verena Valiente, there is a good amount of pressure coming from him. Not only that, guys, but if you read, it is on hit to anything that doesn't have to hit Vanguard. If you hit rearguard, you can counterblast one, discard your card and stand this unit. So it applies more pressure. Very, very happy with this card. Of course, that's just, you know, if we're thinking of uh, Overdress uh, meta, solid card in that sense for pressure. But also, guys, I know this is like super, super early, but in premium, uh, this, this, this just seems hilarious to me, right? So let's just say, for example, that, you know, you attack, you guard with it, you attack with your Vanguard, get a stand trigger, stand this guy, attack again, um, hits that, that time. Counterblast one, restand it again, swing again. So it's a multiple attacking uh, rear guard with stand triggers. But you know, combo these things with, um, you know, just thinking off the top of my head here, you could probably do something like, you know, Metamorphox and uh, the Murakumo stand trigger to be able to do uh, multiple uh, multi attack uh, combos. Probably, I think that's how that works. I'm not 100% sure, but this is just me coming off the top of my head. I'm just, you know, of course, just theorizing here. But overall, I, you know, I am super impressed with this card. I'm very excited to start playtesting with it. Um, do I see this as, you know, making Dragon Empire the end-all, be-all, super competitive meta deck for Genesis of the Five Greats? No, honestly, I still think, you know, Dark States and maybe Keter kind of take the cake. But, I mean, that's tough to say, though. I mean, we still also don't have all of the brand gate reveals. And honestly, how everything's been playing out, at least how I've been playing Overdress with uh, all my teammates here, is that, you know, every single deck is solid. Every single deck has utility, and every single deck has its kind of niche to be able to pull out the win. 
And this is, of course, you know, that niche for the Overdress deck. It's just a super solid card. And uh, yeah, I'm a fan of it. So there is one more thing that they announced on the stream. And I'm personally excited for them because they just look amazing, guys. And that is the Overdress Rares. They announced the additional Overdress Rare that we're getting from Genesis of the Five Grades and two additional Overdress Rares that we're going to be getting in the second booster set. And just looking at these things, guys, they are absolutely gorgeous. Donji over there just looking like an absolute beast. And then you have, of course, Toyo over there looking super, super badass. But of course, my favorite out of the three is Nirvana. Oh my God, guys, that art is just gorgeous for Nirvana. I mean, of course, it, it just brings out the more like Phoenix-like aesthetics of the card. The gold borders on all of them are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I am a super big fan of these. Obviously, you know, it goes without saying, I've got that Dragon Empire split coming in on one of my cases with uh, Henry. So I'm super excited and hopefully be able to pull this or the uh, Trickstar. Both of them look just so good in my eyes. They all look good, man. Bushiroad is knocking it out of the park with these Overdress Rares, man. Super good stuff. Um, case ratios aside, hopefully they don't um, break the bank, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. And uh, yeah, everybody, that is going to be my small news digest for the week. Overall, the stream looked really solid. There was a lot of good stuff that they revealed. Of course, it was basically only three cards, but man, the Varina Valiente has just got me so hyped. There's so much potential there. I am excited to play test with it and see what we can do with Dragon Empire. But um, yep, yeah, that is just going to be my small news segment for the week, guys. What do you think of all the reveals that happened this week? Please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. And of course, guys, if you like the style of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos as it does help our channel and we greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, guys, my name is John from Team Greylock and I will see you guys next time. Deuces!